Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next recap video. And uh, you guys already saw a few of these attacks from the Q&A video, uh, the last one I uploaded. So I'm not going to show those, obviously, but I'll, t I'll go ahead and take a look at a few other good ones. Um, kind of a few tiers below us, Clan of Smash. Uh, tens were two-starred, got a handful of three-stars on our nines, uh, but for the most part, just got the lower bases three-starred. And that's pretty much it. Um, we had two stars in most of the top ones. Uh, obviously, we could have probably gotten a two star number one had it been a little bit closer, and we needed the stars. But uh, I guess people were just trying for three stars on, on the on these two bases, uh, which is cool. Don't always need to get the maximum stars. In some of these wars, you just want to practice it out. And then obviously, all the nines were three starred in the eights. So we're gonna take a look at just a few attacks. Not a whole lot to show. Didn't have necessarily the best bases. Uh, but a few a few good ones to show that are worth showing and then uh, obviously You guys might not know this, but there is the arranged uh, War against prime one hive prime so kind of an inner clan inner clan family scrimmage uh, Which I'll I'll do some coverage of probably uh, so stay tuned for that So we're taking a look at, at Rudy taking on uh, number seven and just coming in with two golems wizards to create the funnel uh, normal stuff there, kind of an old-fashioned, no queen walk or anything like that. Just gets the one single bomb triggered, uh, king going in there, he's going to aggro onto the queen. Uh, actually, a double bomb set there, excuse me. Uh, so, kind of a weird spot for a double giant bomb, but very handy right there. Gets the queen, gets the double set of bombs, and now is coming in with the hogs. Uh, going pretty heavy, and you can see right here, this is the part that I thought was actually kind of crazy accidentally drops those both those heels um outside of the base so fat fingers two heels so basically working with two spells has one jump and the one heel which he already dropped so at this point he realizes he needs to spread out his hogs um don't let the splash damage take them out because obviously there's no heels um needs to keep them away from any giant bombs and they kind of bypassed uh the other double set which i think was up top as you can see, he has a few hogs still going through, uh, taking out that cannon. Then they're going to go on to the uh, Tesla. They're going to get it taken out because the Tesla's being tanked for. And uh, what those last two hogs do uh, hit a spring trap. But you can see the queen still out. Still has a few golemites up to tank. And all that's really left is the splash damage. Now the king is doing some work on his wizards, but uh, he has other wizards going around the outside. Uh, right here, that king steps up. He's going to take out the wizards. Um, in just a moment right here he steps up uh, gets the wizards taken out or excuse me sorry the wizards do take him out he only gets one of them uh, so it does have that wizard up top for cleanup does have the queen still up uh, she lost the golemites out in front of her but like I said it's only splash damage so that's not gonna hurt the level 25 queen um, probably should have dropped that poison up on the king up there would have saved a wizard or two but I guess just wasn't thinking of it and we'll fast forward because he only has like three troops left but uh, I guess had plenty of time, didn't do a queen walk or anything, so uh, didn't have to worry about time. Gets the three star, but working with two heal spells. Kind of an interesting attack that I'd show up for you guys, uh, because that was kind of crazy. All right, as soon as that CC goes down, that's going to be the three star. Uh, moving on to number 10. All right, we're taking a look at Rigo taking on 10 and a queen walk. Uh, La Luna attack. Nice to see. Uh, you can see this base isn't the best setup, obviously. Queen's on, up top, really exposed. Uh, but these are bases that you do see, and it's always good to see uh, kind of these anti two star bases, three starred, because if you're used to only hitting anti three star bases, uh, these kind of more compact anti twos can give you some trouble if you don't know how to hit them. Uh, but Rigo does a very nice attack here. Dropping down the queen, a wizard to create the funnel, uh, push her up top. She's going to take out the enemy queen as she continues around. Nice poison there. Uh, doesn't have to worry about using a rage or even the queen's ability uh, just because the defensive queen was poisoned, so she wasn't doing enough damage to really get his queen too low, especially with that nice level 30 queen. Uh, she's able to take quite a bit of punishment without uh, getting too low. So right here, the air sweeper is kind of pushing his healers back but only has that cannon, and the healers are able to do the job and keep her up for right now. Uh, right here, she steps up and takes out that air defense. Uh, very good there. Has one air defense, the queen, plus a few Teslas, uh, just kind of 
bonus buildings, I guess. Gonna continue her walk, get a second air defense in just a moment. Uh, right there, she's gonna lock on, get that air defense taken out. The healers are out of the range of the sweeper, so that helps too. Coming in with the Lava Hounds now, uh, just targeting balloons on each defense as we normally do. Uh, there is a lot of damage going to that Lava Hound, so it is going to go down pretty quickly. Uh, but it has another one right falling at its heels. Then a third one going for that last air defense. Queen is still up. Uh, pops the ability in just a moment, I believe. Uh, has the haste, the rage, all that good stuff. Propelling the balloons along. Uh, taking out that last air defense. The Queen goes through the wall and helps out in some of these defenses. And... Uh, you can see this last big group of balloons and that one Lava Hound going to make their way to the last few defenses. That one uh, Wizard Tower is a bit of a threat because of all that splash damage it's doing, but has a second group of balloons cutting across, and under the haste, they're able to get the job done. So, nice attack to Rigo. Still has his king up, just drops him for cleanup, and uh, some Wizards, the Queen, a few balloons and a few pups, getting the three-star. Uh, nice attack. All right, just going to take out one more Town Hall 8. I apologize, there weren't any good Town Hall 10, 11 action to show you guys. Uh, so we're just going to stick to 9s and 8s for this video. Um, and then we'll have some more high level stuff for you guys. As well as, you know, Town Hall uh, 9s, Town Hall 8s. The whole, uh, the whole spectrum in the, arranged, in the arranged matchup with Prime, hopefully. So uh, I always want to get the Town Hall 8 through Town Hall 11 gameplay. Because that's kind of where war, that's the place to be in war right now. So uh, looking at Ice, Ice Baby on 35, uh, just doing you know two poison spells. We'll fast forward through this. Uh, taking out the balloon and then the dragon. But this base is also pretty common. It, it has the, all those gaps inside the core. So you have to be careful. Don't want to uh, path your hogs over the double set of bombs. Not the best spot, but your hogs can path over it the wrong way. And if you have all your hogs together while they hit that double giant bomb spot, it can be devastating. I think on my mini account, at one point, I made the mistake of doing that, and I had a pretty bad fail on this this same uh, layout of the base. So coming in here with kind of a surgical deployment, uh, you can see he is triggering a few bombs, but has some heal spells down. Um, goes ahead and drops that last heal right there. I think there is one more bomb up, but uh, you can see his hogs really aren't going to path over it, just because uh, the last few defenses are all kind of at the bottom there. No need to go up uh, back into the core. King and the Skellies are doing some work on the Hogs, but there's so many of them left, and only a few defenses, uh, that as soon as they get that last Mortar taken out, they turn around, take out the Skellies, take out the King, and start on cleanup. Uh, wizards all around the outside getting the cleanup started. King goes down, and this one's a three-star, just drops the, his own King for cleanup, and uh, that one bomb goes off, but it doesn't matter at this point. Awesome attack to Ice Ice Baby, getting the three-star on number 35. Uh, that's it for this war, though. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Kind of a short recap, uh, but going to save most of my uh, upload time, I guess, for the arranged war this weekend. So should have some videos coming out uh, from the, the nice little scrimmage with One Hive Prime. Uh, should be a fun event because we are matched up with them right now, and the battle day isn't starting long from now. So stay tuned for that. But as far as this video goes, I'm going to sign off. See you guys later. Bisect Toronto.